Hi, you guys. My name is Rachel. I will be leading us through a 45-minute Sculpt Express class today. Um, we're going to go ahead and get right into it. If you have weights, grab them. If you have something else you're using instead of weights, grab those. We'll get started in Ragdoll today. So step your feet out wide. Bend generously through your knees. Opposite hand can grab opposite elbow. Relax your head, your neck, your spine. Maybe think about letting any worries or thoughts roll off the back of your mat or the back of your neck onto your mat. So um, a little story time while you guys are ragdolling. Um, I have a friend who lives in Houston. She's my best friend. And um, I've been calling her every day this last week kind of to check on in on her with their situation as far as them losing power and losing water and it being freezing cold. And every time I call her, she finds a way to spin our conversation to something positive. So I'll be like, do you have electricity? She'll say, no, but today I have water, which is great. I'm so happy to have water. The next day I'll ask her if she has water and she says, no, but today I have electricity and I, I really miss having electricity. And I was just really inspired and motivated by her to really focus on the good in every single moment so today, I challenge you to embrace that on your practice, finding the good in every single pose, every single movement. With your next exhale, release your hands from your mat, heel toe your feet to touch, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Breathe in, mountain pose, hold it here. Ground down through all four corners of your feet, engage through your quads, feel your kneecaps lift towards the ceiling, and then relax your shoulder blades. Feel your shoulder blades come down towards the ground. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, mini back bend. Keep your feet down. Press your hips forward. Open through your chest. Your shoulder blades come together. Exhale. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank, step or hop. We start here with some toe taps. Inhale, center. Exhale, tap. Inhale, center, exhale, tap. As you tap, flex your toes forward and activate through your glutes. Your shoulders are over your wrists. Your gaze is down to the top of your mat. Belly button into your spine, knit your ribs together. Keep going, keep tapping it out. Inhale, center, exhale, tap. Inhale, center, exhale, tap. We're here for just a few more. Get everything nice and warm. We're here for five. High plank in four, three. Two, one, inhale, high plank, exhale, down dog, hips go to the ceiling. Inhale, gaze to the top of your mat, exhale, travel forward. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold, breathe in, mountain pose, exhale, mini back bend. Inhale, mountain, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, high plank. We're going to add in a push-up. It looks like this, tap, tap. Push up at the center. Tap, tap, push up at the center. Know that you have the option to take these push ups from your knees or your toes. Whichever one you choose, I want you to get your chest to your mat every single time. So it looks tap, tap, push up in the center, knees or toes, your choice. Keep it going. Start to warm everything up here. Chest to your mat every single time. We've got a couple more rounds of push ups coming up in the rest of class. These are just getting us started. Here we go, just a few more. Tap, tap, and push up. We meet in high plank in 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds, keep going, keep tapping, keep getting down to your mat. You're here for five. Two, high plank, and one. Inhale, high plank, exhale, down dog, hips go to the ceiling. Inhale, gaze forward, exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, root down through your right foot. Inhale, one-legged mountain. Breathe here. So a little change up. Your left knee is in line with your left hip. Flex your left toes towards the ceiling. Keep your shoulder blades down your back. Activate through your core. Big movement coming. Inhale. Exhale, low lunge. Take it slow. Your left foot goes to the back of your mat. Left heel over your toes. Spider tip your fingers. Pull your chest off of your front knee. Exhale. Inhale, crescent lunge, launch up and hold. Front knee is at 90 degrees. Invite a little bend through your back knee. Lift your back heel over your back toe. That's gonna help you square your hips forward. Inhale, exhale, warrior two. Open up to whatever wall or window you're facing. Front knee is still at 90 degrees. 
Imagine that I'm behind you and I'm pulling your knee out towards your pinky toe. Parallel your arms to the top of your mat. Exhale, gaze over your front middle finger. Inhale, reverse warrior. Hold it here. Legs stay so low. Lift your right ribs up towards the ceiling. Lift your right hand up and then back to find space for your left hip to tuck. Inhale, exhale, high plank. Step or hop forward. We start our plank jacks. Here we go. Jump it in and out. Gaze to the top of your mat. Shoulders over wrists. Engage your core. Yep, we're picking it up a little bit. Getting a little cardio burst in. Jump in and out. Plank jacks. If plank jacks are not your jams, you can stick to those taps that we did at the beginning of class. Here we go. Just a few more seconds. Give me 10 more seconds of plank jacks. In and out. In and out. If you lift your gaze to the top of your mat, I promise you'll shift forward just a little bit and your shoulders will come over your wrists. Your hips will come down. You're here for five. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Hips go high. Inhale, gaze to the top of your mat. Exhale, travel forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Left foot down. Inhale, one-legged mountain. Breathe here. Invite a little bend through your left knee. Plant your left heel down into your mat. Level your hips by pulling your right hip down. Relax your shoulder blades. Inhale. Exhale, low lunge. Kick your right foot to the back of the room. Front knee is still at 90 degrees. Spider tip your fingers. Exhale. Inhale, crescent lunge. Lift up and hold. Shoulders over hips. Square your hips forward. Your toes and your feet are on railroad tracks rather than a tightrope. You want to be able to see both sets of toes if someone was right in front of you. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Front knee is at 90 degrees. Pull it out just like we did on the first side. Shift your shoulders over your hips. Activate through your right hip by pressing it up towards the ceiling. Exhale, gaze forward. Inhale, reverse warrior. Stay low through your legs. Lift your left ribs up towards the ceiling. Left hand comes up and then back. Get really light through your back hand. Inhale. Exhale, high plank. We add on here. Plank jack, push-up. This is our second round of push-ups. Don't miss it. Plank jack, push-up. You guys can do this. I should say it's also our last round of push-ups too. Plank jack with a push-up. Here we go. Again, you have the option to tap it out instead of doing the plank jacks if that's more your jam. Keep going. Plank jack with a push-up. Keep going, keep going. You guys got this. I think they're cleaning the windows here at the studio um, so if you hear a little noise, that's what it is. Keep going. You're almost there. Ten more seconds. Plank jack, push up. Awesome job. Here we are for five. High plank in four, three, two, one. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Hips go high. Inhale, gaze to the top of your mat. Exhale, travel forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Grab your weights. Right foot down. We're going to flow with the weights. Inhale, one-legged mountain. Press your weights over your shoulders. Exhale, low lunge. Keep your weights in your hands. Frame your front foot. Inhale, crescent lunge. Press your weights back up. Get low through your legs. Exhale, warrior two. Weights through heart center. Keep a bend through your elbows. Inhale, reverse. Top weight stacks over your top shoulder. Back weight rests on your back leg. Inhale. Exhale, high plank. Pull, pivot. Plant your weights to the top of your mat. Stay here for the inhale. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, gaze to the top of your mat. Exhale, travel forward. Inhale, halfway lift. No weights. Exhale, forward fold. Grab your weights. Left foot down. Inhale, one-legged mountain. Press your weights and your right knee high. Exhale, low lunge. Take it with some control. You can drop your weights down to your mat. Inhale, crescent lunge. Weights up. Sink low through your legs. Exhale, warrior two. Weights through heart center. Open up. Press out. Inhale, reverse warrior. Top weight stacks. Back weight gets really light. Exhale, high plank. Pull, pivot. Plant your weight to the top of your mat. Inhale, find the hold. Exhale, down dog. Hips go high. Inhale, gaze to the top of your mat. Exhale, travel forward. No weights. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Grab your weight. Right foot down. Inhale, one leg and mountain. Press your weights up. We're going to start here with shoulder rainbows. So weights together from one ear to the other, making a big rainbow over your head. 
Inhale down, exhale up. Option to stay here in one-legged mountain. Another great option is to take a kickstand with your left foot, or if you want to keep the balance and just modify it a little bit, you can take tree legs. So inhale down, exhale up, rainbows. From one ear to the other, keep going with those. Keep going. Right into the work with the weights. You guys got this. Inhale down, exhale up. Imagine that you're drawing a rainbow with your weights over your head. Press them together. You got this. We're almost there. You can do this. I know this is a shoulder burner for sure, but you are so strong. Stay in it. Inhale down, exhale up. We hold our weights at the top over our head. Keep them pressed together in five. Hold it at the top in four, three, two, one. Pull your biceps into your ears, tricep extensions. Elbows go to the ceiling. Pull your belly button in. Maybe you tuck your pelvis a little bit. That'll help you engage your core. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Working into the backs of your arms, into your triceps. Find that extension. You know your options for the balance. You can keep your left knee up. You can kickstand your left foot. You can take tree legs. Make this yours. I want you to modify this so that this serves you the rest of your day. You can take one weight. You can take no weights. You can take two weights. Your choice. Inhale down, exhale up. Keep going with those extensions. Inhale down, exhale up. Awesome work. We're here for 10 more. 10 more. You can do it. Awesome job. Five more. You guys are killing it. I know you are. Four. One-legged mountain in three, two, one. Inhale, one-legged mountain. Exhale, low lunge. Kick your foot to the back of the room. Lose your weights. Reach your left hand or right hand forward. Excuse me. Angle taps. In and out. Here we go. Another little cardio burst today. Reach forward. Tap your ankle. Don't miss it. Take these a little bit quicker than you want to. Get a little bit lower through your right leg. You're still in low lunge technically. So inhale. Reach forward. Exhale. Tap your left ankle with your right hand. Here we go. Here we go. Tap it out. Awesome job, you guys. Stay in it. You've got 10 more seconds. Tap it out. Five. Low lunge in four. Three. Get a little lower through your right leg. Two. One. Exhale. Low lunge. Still to your left weight. Grab your weight with your right hand. Narrow row to wide row. Alternate. On your narrow row, your elbow comes up. Shoulder blade comes in. Wide row. Elbow comes out. Shoulder blade in. Narrow to wide row. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. You guys got this. Narrow to wide row. Awesome job. Really working on our upper body here to start our class. Inhale down. Exhale. Pull up. Awesome. Awesome. Right arm is going to start to feel it. The challenge here is to find a little pause at the top of that row. At the top of your narrow row. Can you squeeze it? Then lower down. Wide row. Squeeze it. Then lower down. Narrow to wide row. Keep rowing. Awesome. Focus on the good right here. Maybe the good is your breath. Maybe you're doing this workout with someone else, and that is really pushing you. Find something to focus on right here that's going to push you through it. We'll meet in low lunge in just a few. Five more seconds. Low lunge in four. Three, two, three. One, exhale, low lunge, inhale, crescent lunge, reach high, elbows come down, palms to the ceiling, lunge and curl. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Shoulders over your hips the whole time, front knee comes to 90 degrees, back knee hovers. Engage through your core so that you stay stacked in your upper body. Inhale down, exhale up. Five more like this, we'll add on in three, two, one, add on, add a cross at the top. So curl and cross. Inhale down, exhale up, cross. Curl and cross. As you're crossing, alternate which arm goes over top when you punch forward. Curl and cross. Inhale down, exhale up. Yeah, now start to pay a little more attention to your lunge. You're digging your right heel down, and I want you to put... Most of your weight through your right heel, but your back knee is still hovering every time you lunge down. It's like you're thinking about dropping both knees to 90 degrees, then lifting up. Curl and cross. You can take the lunge out of it and just focus on the upper body. That's a great option here. 
Inhale down, exhale up. Keep working, curl and cross. Right leg is gonna start barking pretty quick. Can you give me 10 more of these, 10 more? Awesome job. Four, three, crescent lunge in two, one. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two, open up to your side wall, lat pull. So your elbows come back like you're trying to knock them together, shoulder blades in, then inhale, press your weights up to a W. Exhale back, inhale, press. From the front, it's going to look like this. Exhale, pull your elbows back. Inhale, press up. Watch your grip on the weights. Exhale, back and squeeze. Inhale, press. We'll add the lateral lunge in just a few. Everything lowers and pulls in. Everything comes up and presses out in three, two, one. So everything down and pull back. Inhale, press up and straighten your front leg. Down and bend, up and straighten. You guys got this. Make sure that your front knee is not coming over your front big toe. If it is, you need to take your feet out a little bit wider. Step your back foot maybe a little bit closer to the wall behind you. So pull down and lower, press up and straighten your front leg. Yeah, stay in it. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale, come down, squeeze your elbows back. Find that pause, shoulder blades in, elbows press together. Then inhale, press your weights out. Awesome. I know these are really tough. Know that you can take them one arm at a time if you need to. Make that adjustment. Here we go. We meet in warrior two with our elbows back in three, two, one. Okay, we're going to isolate our back, so pulse it in. Elbows come back, shoulder blades in, little pulses right here. Squeeze it in, squeeze. Stay in your warrior two legs, pull it. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Like you're trying to drive your shoulder blades and your elbows together. Awesome job, stay low in your warrior two legs. Little exhales every time you pull back. Pull, pull, almost there. 10 more seconds, you can, squeeze it in. 10 more seconds, that's it you guys. Five, warrior two and four, three, two, one, exhale, warrior two, inhale, reverse warrior, exhale, high plank, pull, pivot, plant your weights, lose your weights, we go to half burpees right here, forward, give yourself 10, back, forward, give yourself 10, half burpees, we're not here forever, it's a little short set to get your heart rate back up, back, forward, give yourself 10, here we go, here we go, I'm giving you 10, I promise, keep going, 10 more seconds, take those half burpees, Awesome job, you guys. You're here for five. We meet in high plank in four, three, two, one. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, drop to your knees. Woo! Air high fives through the internet. Air high fives to your neighbor. Okay. We are going to go ahead and take a little bit of core work. All of our core work is going to start from a boat pose. Option to use your weights throughout core work. I'm gonna demo it with the weights and without the weights. So flip over onto your seat. We'll start boat pose with our heels down. Heels down. So you can bring your weights to heart center or your hands to heart center. So inhale center, exhale row. We're just gonna row it out. Heels down, lean back to feel this work. Let your elbow drop behind you. Eyes follow your weights. Inhale center, exhale row. Inhale center. Exhale, row. Option to just bring your hands to heart center and row it out. We'll add a sit up in the center in three, two, one. Looks like this. Okay, so crunch all the way down, all the way up. Row, row. Sit up at the bottom. Row, row. Awesome job, you guys. Sit up. Row, row. Here we go. Boat row with the sit up in the center. Keep going. Weights, no weights, one weight, your choice. Keep going, keep going. Keep breathing through it, you can do this. Awesome job, all the way down, all the way up, row, row. We hold at the top in five. We'll hold at the top in four, three, 
two, one, hold at the top, find your boat pose with your heels up, run your arms, run your arms, a lot of bicep work today, chest is broad and high, find a little balance on your sit bones, heels up, that's the challenge here, find that sweet spot where your core is working, but you can still control your bicep curls, here we go, run it out, run it out, almost there, keep pushing, run your arms, hold your boat, we bring weights to heart center, in three, two, one, high to low boat, inhale, lengthen, exhale, squeeze it in, inhale, lengthen, exhale, squeeze, option to take this without the weights, you can also bring your hands behind your low back here to support your back, also a great option just to take it in your upper body, inhale, lengthen, exhale, crunch, and drop your heels down, your choice, high to low boat, these are killer. I know. Stay in them. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze. Imagine that you're lengthening your whole body out, and then you're squeezing it into a tight ball. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crunch. We'll alternate the legs in three, two, one. It looks like this. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crunch. Again, without the weight, hands behind your back or you can drop your heels down. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, crunch. Awesome work. I know your core is talking to you. Bow pose is so killer. It is so effective at getting into our core muscles. Hold your right leg out in three, two, one. You can drop your left heel down if you want little lifts. Little lifts. Inhale, down, exhale up. Flex your right toe towards the ceiling. Now lean back. That's when you're going to start to feel it. You're going to feel it through the right side of your core and your right hip flexor. Stay there. Little exhales. We switch our legs in three, two, one. Switch them out. Right heel down, left heel lifts. One inch up, one inch down. Awesome job, you guys. Little exhales. Flex your toes. Lift up. Up. This is it. Finish out your core work. You got it. Five, four more. Three, two, one. One, full body stretch. Hands overhead, toes go forward, reach high. And then exhale, bring your knees into your chest, rock and roll all the way around. Meet me in downward facing dog. Let's take this left side. Press through the L shape in your hands, hips go to the ceiling. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold, left foot stays down, grab your weight. Inhale, one leg in mountain, elbows to a cactus, shoulder press. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale lower, exhale lift, elbows do not drop below 90 degrees, and when you straighten out, biceps come a little bit behind your ears. Again, great option for kickstand or tree legs, or you can stay in one leg in mountain, your choice. Inhale lower, exhale lift. Inhale down, exhale up. Take a few more of these, getting into your shoulders, finding your breath. Awesome job. Maybe your balance is starting to come back and you can hold up your right knee for a little bit while you do this. Here we go, just a few more. We meet at the bottom of our shoulder press in five more presses, five more, you got it. Four, elbows down in three, two, one. Hold them down, pec decks. Inhale, close, exhale, open. Inhale, close, exhale, open. Your elbows are at 90 degrees. Close the book, open up. Shoulder blades squeeze together at your back. Then inhale, pull your weights together. Pec decks. If your shoulders are killing you and you need to take a little break from this, low rotators are an awesome option. Inhale, close, exhale, open. Squeeze at the back, engage through your core. We're not here for long. 10 more, 10 more, you can do it. Here we go, we're already on six. Five more, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one leg in mountain. Exhale, low lunge, lose your weights. Left hand forward this time, ankle taps. Right ankle comes in, tap it out, tap, tap. Get your heart rate back up, here we go. Tap it out. Stay low through your left leg. You're still in low lunge in your left leg. Stay there. Get low. Get low. Tap it out. Rocking this, you guys. You're more than halfway through this work. Stay in it. You got this. You know what to expect. You've been here before. You've got five more seconds. 
Low lunges come in. Keep tapping. We're here for four. Three, two, one. Exhale, low lunge. Still to your right weight. Grab your weight with your left hand. Narrow row, wide row. Inhale down, exhale up. On your narrow row, your elbow comes in and up. On your wide row, your elbow comes out and up. Inhale down, exhale up. On your narrow row, your palm faces in towards your left leg. Wide row, your palm faces the wall behind you. Inhale down, exhale. Come up. You guys got this. Left arm has got to get the same love and attention that the right arm got. Here we go. Inhale down, exhale, pull up. So strong, you guys. Okay, I know your left or right weight is there for a little bit of height, but you should not be putting a lot of weight into it. See if you can lift up through your core a little bit so that you can wiggle your fingers or maybe even hover your right hand over your right weight. Narrow to wide rows. Five more. Four more, here we go. Three, low lunges coming in two. One, exhale, low lunge, grab your weight. Inhale, crescent lunge, elbows down, palms in. Hammer, curl, and lunge. Inhale down, exhale up. Both knees drop to 90 degrees and then come all the way up. We'll add the cross in three, two, one. Here we go, hammer, curl, cross. Inhale down, exhale up and cross. Down, up, and cross. Alternate which hand goes over top every single time. Hammer, curl, and cross. Again, you have the option to take the legs out of this and just do the curl and cross. You guys are killing it. Curl and cross. Shoulders over hips. Engage through your core. Knit your ribs together. Inhale as you lower. Exhale up and cross. Whew. I know you guys are feeling it. I'm feeling it, and I'm not even doing all of it. You guys, I'm sure, are rocking this. You're killing it. Getting your workout in. Keep going. Inhale down. Exhale up. Maybe for a second, you focus on something that's positive right here. Maybe your legs are struggling, so you focus on your biceps. Maybe your biceps are killing you, so you focus on the lunge. Find something here. We've got five more curling crosses. Five more curling crosses. Awesome job. Curl, cross. Crescent lunge is coming in three, two, three. One, inhale, crescent lunge, exhale, warrior two, open up, servers. Exhale, pull back, exaggerate the back of this movement. Elbows come back, shoulder blades in. Inhale, serve your weights forward. Exhale, back, inhale, serve. Exhale, back, inhale, serve. Front knee is at 90 degrees. Your back foot stays parallel to the back of your mat. We'll add the lunge in three, two, one. So everything comes back and down, straighten it out. Back and down, straighten and out. Switch up your breath a little bit. So inhale as you lower and pull back. Exhale as you lift and serve. Inhale down, exhale up and serve. Awesome job, you guys. This is another one that you can take one arm at a time and still get a ton of benefits out of it. So if you need to, take it one arm at a time. Stay with your lateral lunge. If you feel like your knee is coming over your big left toe, Take a wider stance in your feet. Here we go. Inhale, down and back. Exhale, up and serve. Down and back, up and serve. Find that squeeze at the back of your server. Awesome job, you guys. We're going to hold our weights out in just a few. Bottom of your lateral lunge. Weights come out in five, four, three, two, one. Hold your legs down. Weights come out. Pulse them up. One inch up, one inch down. Yes, these are burners. Send your elbows away from your torso. They should be right, not right next to your side, but out in front of you, palms to the ceiling. Watch your grips on the waist. Lift up one inch or down and down an inch. Here we go. Little exhales as you lift. Five more. Four. Warrior two in three, two, one. Exhale, warrior two. Press your weights out. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, high plank. Pull. Pivot, plant your weight to the top of your mat. Okay, last little cardio burst of the day, burpees. You can do it. Only 20 seconds, only 20 seconds of burpees right here. You can add a push-up. You can come all the way down to your mat. Make these yours. 
Another great option is to take those half burpees like we did before. 10 more seconds. Awesome job, you guys. Five. High plank in four. Three, two, one. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Woo. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, drop to your knees. Grab a drink. Whew, I need a drink from those burpees. Get a drink. We are going to finish off with a little bit of floor work on our mat, and then we'll cool down, okay? All the cardio is done. We're not done with the weights yet, though. So go ahead and grab them. Find a kneeling squat. So your knees are at hips distance. We're going to have a bicep curl with a kneeling squat. Inhale down. Exhale, lift up. Everything lowers. Everything lifts. If you want more work through your biceps, send your elbows away from your torso. Inhale down. Exhale up. Shoulders stay over your hips the whole time. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale lower. Exhale lift. You guys got it. Down and up. Find your pace, whatever that looks like for you in this moment. We'll hold our hips halfway down in just a few. Stay in it. Inhale down. Exhale up. Hips go halfway down in five. Hold them down in four, three, two, one. Hold them halfway down. Now run your arms. Run. Run. Your quad should be burning up right here. Run it out. Okay, what are you focusing on right now? What are you focusing on? Are you focusing on your quads, your biceps? Focus on something that feels good, that you, will push you, that will help motivate you. Here we go. We bring our weights to heart center in three, two, one. Weights to heart center. Come back all the way up, shoulders over hips, hips over knees. Walking squats, right foot leads. So up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Right foot leads every time. Stay low. See if you can stay so low that your knees never straighten out the whole time. Right leg is leading. Keep going. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. We'll add a little squat at the top in five. We'll add a squat in in three, two, one. It looks like this. Lift up, then down, down. Up, up, squat, down, down. Weights are at heart center. You can take this without the weight. Awesome work, you guys. Legs are getting some love right here. So after you come up, add that squat. Inhale as you lower. Exhale as you lift on your squat, then lower back down. Right leg is still leading. Here we go. We'll meet back on our knees in five, four, three, two, one. Back on your knees. Hammer curls this time. Kneeling squat. Inhale down. Exhale up. Shoulders over your hips. Engage through your core. I told you there's a lot of bicep work today. I wasn't lying. Inhale down. Exhale up. We'll hold halfway again and run our arms in five. Hold it halfway in four, three, two, one. Hold your hips halfway down towards your heels. Run your arms. Run it out. Run. Run. You guys can do this. We're only here for five more seconds. Four. Three, two, one. Weights to heart center. Come all the way up. Shoulders over hips, hips over knees. Left foot leads up, up, down, down. Just like this, walking squats. We'll add the squat in at the top in just a few. Stay in it. Up, up, down, down. Add the squat in three, two, one. Here we go. Left foot still leads. Keep going. Down, down, up, up, squat. Down, down, up, up, squat. Here we go. This is it, you guys. Last bit of work. After this, we are cooling down. Stay in it. Up, up, down, down. Get that squat at the top. Here we go. Here we go. Just a few more seconds. You got it. Up, up, down, down. Add the squat in. So strong, you guys. We'll meet down and kneeling in just a few. Stay there. Awesome job, you guys. We're here for five. Meet me at kneeling in four, three, two, one. Exhale, drop your waist to the top of your mat. Awesome job, you guys. Woo! Air high fives. You guys totally killed that. Let's go ahead and cool down. Meet me in downward facing dog. We're going to move through our sun bee without the weights, feeling the benefit of our practice. 
Inhale, gaze to the top of your mat. Exhale, travel forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, right foot down. Inhale, one leg in mountain. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, high plank. Inhale, find the hold. Exhale, down dog, hips go high. Inhale, gaze to the top of your mat. Exhale, travel. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, left foot down. Inhale, right knee rises. Exhale, low lunge, find some control. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, high plank. Stay here for the inhale. Exhale, drop to your knees. We're going to take a shoulder stretch. You guys did a lot of work through your shoulders today. So we're going to start here with your left hand down from a tabletop. Right hand comes over your right shoulder. Invite some movement through your wrist. Maybe some shoulder circles. When you're ready, thread the needle. Exhale, your right shoulder and your right ear. Find your mat. Stretching out through your right side, slowing your breathing, slowing your heart rate. Continuing to breathe. Let this stretch feel so good through your right arm. Exhale, your left hand glues back to your mat. Inhale, right hand reaches high. One more time, let's switch it out. Right hand down, inhale, left hand high. Invite some movement that feels good here. When you're ready, exhale, thread the needle. Left shoulder and left cheek, find your mat. Your right hand can stay down onto the earth if that feels good. Stretch it out here. Exhale, glue your right hand down to the mat. Left hand reaches high. One more time, exhale, tabletop. Lift your legs out in front of you. Move the muscle from under your sit bones. Flex your toes towards the ceiling. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, hinge forward from your hips. Seated forward fold. Relaxing through your head, your neck, your spine. Let your hands kind of just fall where they may. They might find your toes, but they also might find your shins, your knees, whatever is accessible here. Don't force it. Taking one more exhale here. Inhale, hands overhead. Exhale, roll back onto your mat one vertebra at a time. No rush to get there. Once you get onto your back, bring your right knee into your right armpit. Exhale, let it fall to the left side of your mat. Stack your hips, your shoulder blades stay down. You can gaze towards your right hand for a deeper twist. You can take whatever variation of this supine twist that serves you in this moment. Keeping your breath, your focus. Inhale, pull your right knee into your right armpit. Give it some love. Exhale, let it go long. Inhale, left knee comes up and in. Squeeze it in. Exhale, let it fall to the right side. Stack your hips, shoulder blades down. Gaze towards your left hand for a deeper twist. Inhale, pull your left knee into your left armpit. Bring your right knee up to meet it. And then with your next exhale, we'll come into our last pose of the day. Happy baby. Grabbing onto the outsides of your feet, your knees, your shins. Keep your full spine on your back or on your mat, excuse me. You can rock and roll. Give yourself a little low back massage if that feels good. Start to sink into this pose. And then with your next inhale, pull your knees into your chest, your chin to your chest. Give yourself the biggest hug. Reward yourself for all the hard work you put on your mat in this short amount of time. Thank your body 
And then with your next exhale, release everything down, Shavasana. You made it. Take up some space. Let your arms and your legs go long. Relax through your jaw, your eyelids. And know that for the next few moments, there is absolutely nothing to think about, nothing to worry about. I'll bring you out shortly. Start to bring awareness back to your body, back to your breath. Your next inhale, let the air from around you fill your lungs. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Let that movement move up to your wrists and into your ankles. With your next inhale, reach your hands overhead. Full body stretch, make it feel so good. Go ahead and roll over to the right side of your body for supported fetal position. Take a moment right here to recognize and be so very proud of the work you put on your mat in this short amount of time. Know that no matter what challenge you face, whether you're on your mat or out in the world, know that you have the power, the ability to make finding the good a priority. Remember that, and I challenge you to do that today at some point. With your next inhale, press yourself up to a seated position. I stay heavy, hands at heart center. We'll take a virtual community breath. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, let it go. Inhale your hands at third eye center. The teacher and student in me is so very proud and inspired by the teacher and student inside of all of you. Exhale, bow down, seal in all the benefits from our practice today. Namaste. Thank you guys so, so much for joining me this morning, or I guess it's morning here, um, today on our YouTube channel. Um, feel free to keep tuning in to all of the amazing classes we have. Thank you guys so much.